Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today's review is called Make Her by Cassie Alexander. I received a free ARC copy of this book that I read on my Kindle. I got it free from the author. It is book three of uh, Beauty and the Beast remake trilogy that she has written. So it's the third and final book in the trilogy. It's kind of like Beauty and the Beast meets Howl's Moving Castle. I've done the first two books already and I will put the links in the description box below. Um, I believe the actual book will be available on Amazon shortly if you want and the first two are available already on Amazon if you want to get them. Uh, Break Her and Bend Her are the first two. Make Her is the third one. Um, it's been a while since I did a video, so I'm a little slow. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the book is written in first person from either Ram's or Lizane's, Lizanne's point of view. Oh, the main characters are Ram and Lizanne. Lizane? Lizanne? Finks? Um, Ram is, um, a mage wizard he does magic and his friends Sibby and Wyverl, Wyverl are two other mages that help him out. Castilian is a mage as well but he works for Lizanne's father uh, who is the king of Drelith, the main kingdom that the story takes place in. Helkin is Lizanne's brother um, and Jelana is a friend of Lizanne that she meets in book two who kind of plays an important role in book three there's some other minor characters some other wizards some other um princes from neighboring kingdoms random guards oh and the main enemy is the deathless of course if you've been following and read the other books then you'll understand this one I find went a little faster than the first two for the pace. There are no dragons. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I absolutely love Cassie's writing style. I found it went really smoothly. Her descriptions are excellent. I felt like I was there in the world. I could picture everything that was happening. Like I said, I felt like it was very fast paced. The main um, conflict wrapped up maybe um, three quarters of the way through the book and the last quarter is like um, an afterward with the happily ever after kind of thing going on which is nice that she did a nice longer bit for that to add more to Lizanne and Riam's romance which is great I'm gonna make a point of saying this is an 18 plus book definitely spicy um, it has themes of violence and pain with um, pleasure there's a word for that but I can't remember what it is so if that stuff bothers you maybe don't read this book it is not um, not overly graphic, um, and I wouldn't say, uh, okay, got that. I shouldn't say it's not overly graphic. What I meant was for the pain part, like there's not a lot of like, it's, it's tame. It's tame. It's like scratching and whipping. It's not. <laughs> I am struggling with the descriptions for this book this time. I don't know why. But yeah. The world. Mm, see if I've read the if I've done the reviews for the other ones I can't remember what I've said in those ones. So the, the in this world a lot of women especially royalty are not allowed outside they're they're kept quiet they're not allowed out in places with rooms because they're treasured 
and the Deathless are such a threat, so they try and, like, keep them protected. And then Lizanne... Oh, and they're also... Women are not allowed to do magic. And Lizanne feels quite trapped by this, obviously. And she becomes the first woman to do magic in, like, a really, really long time. But there's a reason why women aren't supposed to do magic, which we find out in this one, which is very nice to know and I find it is a good explanation and I like how Cassie sort of twists it because there is um, a prophecy I should say prophecy prediction about it and I like how she twists it in the end she does a very good job with that I like how I was surprised by what's causing the deathless that shocked me. I was also a little confused with the ex explanation. I don't quite get the whole thing. Like, I get it, but I could have used a little bit more of an explanation. Explanation. I cannot talk today. Maybe I should have done this video a different day because I'm feeling a little there. Um tropes definitely a romance with spice I would give it um, a two out of three for spiciness I didn't really notice any serious twists thrown in I guess we're at the well the three quarters of the way the end of the main conflict there's definitely a twist there for sure I didn't find it overly predictable I liked uh, like I said before I liked how she wrapped it up and changed how the outlook of things like a different point of view to the prediction that was said about women magicians uh definitely not enemies to lovers well enemies to lovers see but they're already lovers because it was before that they were in the first book they were enemies to lovers i would give it a solid four out of five star rating I exceeded my expectations, great writing, the plot is engaging and complex, the characters are complex, you see them grow throughout the whole series. I found it to be a page turner, really hard to do when I was working, my breaks were not long enough to get in time to read the book, and then I also had company, so I'm a little slower, there's probably other people who've done reviews already. I absolutely know there's other people who've done reviews already. I absolutely love them. I do want to buy physical copies of the book. Probably, maybe reread it in the future. Not right now. But yes, and like I said, I compared it to Howl's, Spicy Howl's Moving Castle. Mixed Beauty and the Beast kind of theme. Definitely recommend the series overall. Something a little bit different, something great, something fun. Finks is the animal sidekick, and he's pretty funny. Some good comic relief going on with him. I would love a pet Finks. <laughs> he's adorable. Anyway, um, that's it that I can think of. Review a little bit shorter than some of my other videos, but that's okay. I hope you guys all have an absolutely wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video.